Hi! Hi everybody! How everybody's doing? I'm here working in the Desert Rosas. Remember the uh, my friend brought me in the last video that I make, she brought two Desert Rosas that she needed a lot, a lot of help. They were, um, they have a lot of moss and a lot of stuff. So I'm mean working uh, on this ro Desert Rosas all day. And this is my best, okay? Oh my goodness! This is my best. I clean everything I can clean. I even open the roots, move the roots, got the stuff out, clean everything. I see some things in here. So over here, I have a little concern, but I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch that. I cannot cut anymore, because if I cut anymore, it's really gonna mess the plant up. Uh, uh, I cut a lot already, and I can see I'm able to move the roots and cut little things. That way, the air can get in there. The air can get in there. But look at this. There's something else here that I don't like. My goodness. It's all of something. And it's hard to get to it because it's very, very big. This one needs to come out. You see that? This one. I see something over there. What is it? I see something over there that I'm not too happy about it. And I gotta clean it. So, uh, what it is, what it is, what it is, it's this, this road over here. So, uh, was a lot of work, a lot, a lot of work for this baby. And, um, let's see over here, it's, you have to make sure you get everything, you clean everything. And uh, over here, let me see. Oh, what's this? <laughs> uh, let's see, what's this over here? My goodness, I don't see this. Oh, this is a little root over here that needs to go. Needs to go! So what I need to do, I need to hold this open and I need to get out with my little clippers and clip this. Anything can help the plant to circulate the air, the air between the roots, you gotta try to clean. Oh, no, yeah. Anything, anything, and I can see I got that, but now, oh my goodness, this is a job, but I'm happy to do it. So, this time, I, lo I never lo lost a desert rose, but I was afraid to lose one of those big babies because I'm trying to help somebody, and they're not my plants, of course. Eh, I'm gonna get a little more of it. A little more of this. Okay, it's good. What else? This little one over here needs to go. <laughs> you can see that I try to cut things and I try to make it like a nice cut. I don't want it to because this is gonna turn dark eventually. This is gonna turn dark, but I'm very concerned about this because I already take like a couple inches out and you can still see that. I don't want to scrub anymore, I'm just going to keep an eye on that. And, um, what is this? What is this? There's a little piece of root in here. Okay, I'm not happy about it. Come on, baby. Help me out. Okay, it's coming out now. So, this is all I can do for this uh, plant. This is all I can do. But the only thing different I'm going to do this time is um, I want to make it nice, and nice, you know, because when it dries, I don't want to look too scarred, too much scarves. I want it to look nice. So, what I'm thinking is, let's see, what are you doing here? It's hard. Okay, I have a little, a little knife somewhere. Anyway, <laughs> what I was gonna show you is, uh, let's see, go like this, go and then go, go in a bead. When you wanna cut something that is very narrow, the best thing to do is go in, in a bead. It's like this over here. Sometimes you have to move the plant and get a different angle to be able to cut, clean it. 
But you know what? I think this plan looks real good. So I think I take all this stuff out. All this stuff come out from the plant. All this. Oh my goodness, what a job. And um, the plant looks good now. The only things I'm gonna do different is this. I figure <coughs> when I plant it, I'm gonna plant it yes, like this. And I'm gonna plant it about here, okay? About here. All this is going to be exposed out. I hope everything dries nice and it's nice and clean. Um, there was a lot of damage in the plant, a lot of root rot. And, uh, but the plant looks nice now. I cleaned the top a little, I cleaned the top, cut the top a little bit. But uh, I cut the top, but I don't want to cut anymore. I really think this plant is good now. Good to go. The only thing is like, <coughs> For example, <coughs> for example, oops, this is my little baby. Uh, for example, here and here, I don't know if you can see that. You see, has I had to I had to be careful. I had to check all these places because in these places the water is going through. You see that? It's not good. So you have to clean that. You have to inspect everything, inspect the plant, and make sure. It's good, look at that. Keep going. Keep going. And I'm hoping that this will dry. You see that? This will dry nice and uh, this is not gonna do anything for the plant. This is not gonna do anything for the plant, so. So, oops. Come on, baby, help me out. Okay, this over here is not gonna do anything for the plant. The sack looks deformed. It's good now. This one's not another thing for the plant. So we're gonna cut it. You see it's a little there. So it's good. This one eh, I'm gonna leave it. I just gonna make sure when the plant is dry, I glue it. I seal it with my glue, with my best glue in the world. And that's it. This over here, see that? There's water going there. You gotta check everything. I mean you cannot miss is it like a inspected? You like quality control inspector. You have to check every little piece and make sure that you don't miss anything. Like over here, it looks like a root rod in there. So we have to carve it and seal it because believe it or not, I know that if you leave it, this will continue and kill your plant. So, see that? So this has to be clean. See that? Nice and clean. I'm sorry, I keep putting uh, my big back, my back in the um, camera, but I just need the angles to clean this baby. And doesn't look too bad now. I just gotta keep checking it and inspecting it, make sure it doesn't have any of this nasty stuff it has. And clean is my best. Got a lot of stuff out with the hose, a little bit um, soapy. And this is my best. I don't know, I mean, I don't want to cut too much, that's it. So, oh my gosh, heavy. The only thing that I have to worry about is this. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this. The only things I'm gonna do is now, believe it or not, listen to this. New, new things going on here. The only thing we're gonna do different in this baby. We're gonna put cinnamon, okay? We're gonna put a lot of cinnamon in each one. Cinnamon, cinnamon everywhere, and guess what? We're gonna dry it in here. When the plant is ready, I'm gonna put it over here, right over here to dry for a week. At night, I'm gonna cover it up with a moving blanket. I cover all this with the moving blankets. In the daytime, I take the blanket and let it dry. Every other day, I go around and flip them over. Other thing I was gonna tell you, a couple days ago, someone brought me this plant. This plant had root rot all here. And the lady was almost uh, very, 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 almost crying, very sad. So I'm thinking, I say, huh, 
Let's see how can I help you. Maybe I can help you. So I go start cutting it slowly, 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 slowly until I find, I find clean. And then I cut here because it was too long like this, too much. So, and then I put it in here for the last three days. The only thing I do in the day, I turn it around, okay, and move it. Oops, I move it. The next day is gonna this way. If I leave it here, I think this is very, very hard. It's cold already. Very, very, very hard everything. So I'm gonna give you a couple more days. So a couple more days, and I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plant it in dry, dry soil. But when I plant it in dry, dry soil, I'm gonna put a lot of cinnamon in the soil. And uh -huh, I'm gonna put a lot of cinnamon. Now it's too late to put cinnamon because it's already dry. You know what I mean? I never late because my baby is like the cinnamon. The only thing is I wanna be honest with you, okay? Remember, Mariana's supposed to check everything she knows in the garden. And the only thing I'm gonna do with this is just too much damage. And it's all this stuff over here. I mean, will eventually grow, it's gonna grow roots around here. And the roots is gonna grow as strings, as stems. It's not gonna grow anything here. Here is gonna heal, 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 heal. And it's gonna grow, grow little strings like a, a string, like a thread. Okay, so, but I'm gonna use this, okay? So when I plant it, I'm gonna plant it in that soil. But before I put it in the soil, I'm gonna put this, uh, it's a root uh, hormone. It takes roots, it's a root, root hormone. So I'm gonna put it here, try to, say, to save this plant for this lady. But I think I wait a few more days to make sure it's very, very dry because it's dry already. So that's the only thing I'm gonna, gonna do different to try to save this little, little, little plant for this lady. Another thing that I really, really, really important and need to let you know, next time you buy a desert rose, I don't care where you buy it, we, whatever you buy it, we going to have to cut the roots like uh, here, okay? It says you go today to Lowe's and they have desert roses, okay? So you clean your desert rose very nice like this. You clean it very nice. This has a little bump in here, no light bumps. Hmm. Anyway, so she's now nice and clean there. Before you plant this desert rose, you clip a half inch in here with a knife. Just go, pick, cut it there. Why? This is gonna stop for growing. The plant this is gonna stop for growing like uh like this oh my goodness like this remember this ones i pull it out from my house and they were like this long the if you clip it like this little just half inch or less as long as you clip it this is not gonna happen okay and this ones i'm drying it in so i don't have any i mean in sun excuse me i'm drying it with the sun all this i have in here all these babies this one over here um all this and it's working very well for me. So I'm planning to put it in the, in the sun for a week or so to dry and then put them in the storage for one more week and then plant them. So I think it's gonna short the time. The plant is not gonna dehydrate too much. The plant is gonna be able to um, recover faster, okay? So recover faster by us drying it in the soil. Uh, like this little thing over here, and this plant is not gonna do a thing for the plant. You see this little stick in here? Exact, make the plant look the form. I don't like it in there. So I'm gonna do this, like this, and like this, to be able to cut it. You see that? So now, now it's gonna look better. If it's not gonna help the plant, see that? When this heal, it's gonna look better. You don't want that in there, okay? And maybe you don't want this one sticking out there too. Because this one is sticking in the air, it's not good. Eh. So what I do, I usually do like this. That way my cast doesn't go too far. See? See? And then, so, excuse me, you have to get the right angle to be able to cut it. My knife is very sharp, okay? And, uh, See that? So, usually I go like this, and then I go like this, 
That's it. That's it. You're not gonna hear the foreman there. You see, it's gonna look nicer because I'm gonna plant it all the way here. Check everything. This one over here. This one over here. You see, has a bump in there. You can. You just go like cut and hit like this, and you go like this. That way, it doesn't go too far. See, like that. And that way, when this when this dries, cows. It's gonna be nice and smooth, and the plant is not gonna have too much uh, the form. Right here is two. We only want one. So we only want one piece in there. So we're gonna cut this. See that? Yeah. Trying to make it look decent, you know what I mean? Because they're babies, they're beautiful. And uh, like this one over here, too, it's not gonna reach soil, this one over here. It's not gonna reach the soil. So why is there? I didn't clean it. I have uh, my friend cleaning for me, but I explained her how. She's doing a really good job, by the way. Consider. If it's not gonna go in the, in the, it's not gonna reach the soil, you don't need them, okay? So just put them there. It looks much better. See that? Because when we plant it, it's gonna be over here. So everything is gonna reach now, okay? So there you go, here's my babies. Here's this little baby that belongs to the customer. I really, really went into detail and cleaned this baby. I'm gonna put cinnamon right now and I'm gonna put it to dry. Oh, wait, I forgot to tell you. Remember she brought two? My God, this is one. The other one, here is the other one. It's all clean too. I cleaned it up. Um, I might have to do something, I don't know, because I'm planning when I put it in the soil, I already ordered some plastic pots, big ones, like 15 gallons from Greenhouse Mega Store. They are like five dollars to be able to start. I'm going to uh, put 25 gallons in here and uh, 15 gallons in here to stabilize them. And when they're stabilizing, the lady's gonna come and take it home, my friend. So I'm thinking I'm plant this over here, okay? And when I plant it right here, um. You can see I try not to cut too much. You see this? This is heel, this is heel, this is heel. I'm still thinking about this and things like that, but I think it's very good, very how I'm gonna leave it. I had to cut the top over here because it was a mess. It was a mess. So I'm gonna put cinnamon and I'm gonna put it to dry. And this is this is how I clean it, you see? I'm gonna turn around that way you can see. And I clean the bottom too. I divide again because it's gonna have to be flat to be able to see in the pot, right in the soil. Okay, has a little soft spot here, but that's how she brought it. I'm gonna have to monitor that and see what's gonna happen because it's very soft. I might have just to cut it, you know that? Because to cut it like that, because this is soft, 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 soft. I think she dropped it or something. So might as well don't take a chance. There is um, going to give me problems later. Yes. Okay, baby. See. Okay. Okay. So there you go. And remember, from now on, we're gonna start drying all our plants in the sun. Okay. Like uh, today, in the morning was 40. Here I was freezing, but right now it's about 60. Uh, at one point was like 70. So right now I go get my blankets and cover them up. Tomorrow I take my blankets out and Indra is work so amazing. You don't have no idea what this the sun is doing to our plants, okay? And I have other good good video coming maybe sometime this week that you really really need to watch this video is coming it's very very important this video that i'm gonna upload a couple of days but for now until next time from maria's garden i gotta see them all these babies and put it night night with the blankets okay so and uh it's going to uh cinnamon and put into rest and this i can't wait to show you the finished product when they start blooming and having flowers and everything and I'm really really pleased with the sun how the sun is uh, how the sun is drying them is no no chance of root rot no chance of root rot yeah it's better than put them in the storage to dry on the garage
okay? So every day we learn something together, okay? It's not about changing things, or Maria changed this, or Maria changed that. It's about learning everything together, okay? Uh, I gotta tell you everything. So now we, it is sunny, put them outside to dry when you have root rot, okay? Or when you cut too much, like this. Tomorrow I have one more plant coming, but I'm not gonna do a video, I think, because there's too many videos about cleaning the plants. I gotta do videos about something else. But until next time, from Maria's garden. Oh, and by the way, where is the guy that told me? A uh, customer told me I was holding this upside down. And he was right. I was starting to go, oh, yeah, he's right. I'm supposed to hold it like this. The hell, this is open and closed. I cannot read open and close like this. But I can read it like this. Means they're supposed to go like this. You were right. I'm gonna get you. You fired me last night. Bye-bye. Maybe somebody hired me.